Goal scoring aspect of, of the team, but I mean, it's that man there that we're all very much interested in. Number seven, Martin Odegaard. De Thomas uh, dropping deep, the header back to uh, Noblejas, the ball up to uh, Burgi, tries to spread it out here to Martin Odegaard. First chance for him to run at the defence. You've got Varela joining the attack, the Uruguayan putting the ball in. It might fall to Odegaard here, just couldn't get the ball under control, but already Real Madrid Castilla looking dangerous going forward. I think that was a bit of a welcome to the Basque Country tackle, that one, wasn't it? Absolutely, as Martin Odegaard gets on the ball on this set right wing, looking for a support in field, finds it in the form of Agutha, tries to spread it out. Not the greatest uh, of surfaces in the six-yard box. It's uh, taken short to uh, Burgi, who lifts a nice ball in. It's uh, cleared at the near post. Only as far as uh, Odegaard, who dinks a ball over the top. As, uh, Danny Suarez is still in, onside, pulls it back. It was Diego Llorente who'd stayed up from the corner. Uh, now he has to get back. Yeah, no fouls, says the referee. Good tackle. We are in the Basque country. Here is Burgi. Tries to dance his way into the box. Solid defending there from Leoa, but they can't quite clear their lines as Agutha tries to get on the end of it. It's really good to see, though. Castilla really pressuring Leoa defence. The right up there, pressuring the defenders, forcing the errors, forcing the mistakes. And here comes Odegaard. Back with the Norwegian cutting inside, twisting, turning out to uh, Alvaro Medran. As, uh, Paredes has the ball out on that right wing, trying to cut inside, but there's no one really in the centre. And it'll fall back to uh, Odegaard. Calmly done by Odegaard. He's Marcos Llorente. Grandson of the legendary Gento, of course. Real Madrid DNA. Fantastic turn from Martin Odegaard under pressure there. Featured in uh, La Liga earlier on this season and also played in the Copa del Rey against uh, Cornellà. Uh, Martin Odegaard once again skipping past his man, cutting inside, looking for options, trying to play the ball in. Towards Alvaro Medran, just couldn't take it in his stride. Llorente, Marcos Llorente, no relation, of course, to Diego Llorente playing in the heart of defence. Here is uh, Odegaard. Back to uh, Varela, who's onside, options in the box. If he can find a teammate, it'll fall to Alvaro Medran, who might think about the shot he's found clearly there. The referee... Well, he's given the uh, free kick. Took a, a while to blow, but uh, he's... Uh, might just favour the left foot slightly, as it is slightly to the right of centre. Let's see, it is Martin Odegaard to take straight at the wall. It was struck well enough. Can he get a second chance here, Odegaard? That to uh, Burgi. Well, uh, uh, Odegaard gets to his feet gingerly. Pretty uh, robust challenge. Well, he was holding his ankle there, but... Seems to be back on his feet again. It's always difficult with those free kicks. Very close in, just outside the D on the penalty area. You've got to hit it with that type of free kick. It's again that, that corner early on in the game. Didn't manage to actually force. Uh, credit to the side uh, struggling towards the bottom of the table. They've acquitted themselves uh, pretty well so far. It's a lovely ball though through to Varela. And surely Varela on the ground, and it's still not in the goalkeeper's arms. And that was a crazy little passage of play, but it all started from a sensational through ball from Martin Odegaard. They do indeed. So Odegaard wants to get it back. Here is Burgi. Still Burgi. Can he get the cross away? In the end, he can't. It's cleared only as far as uh, Odegaard. That's great from Martin Odegaard into the box from the Norwegian. Can he dig out a cross? Well, it was it a cross, was it a shot? Well, I think he was crossing. I think he was looking to cross it to the back post. It was kind of neither one nor the other, really, but a lovely piece of skill going down to the touchline there. I think he was just trying to hoist it over to the back post rather than shooting. Well, the ball that fell there to uh, Ormasaval, who uh, decided to play it instead of... Uh, Shoot as Martin Odegaard produces another piece of sensational skill. He's surrounded by four men. Diakite just comes through and uh, takes him out. 
was another outrageous piece of skill there. Completely left his marker for dead. And the cross is a pretty deep one. I don't think Odegaard can keep this in, or maybe he can. Yes, he can. Odegaard might need a bit of help here. Not too much support. Not anyone the near, he's got no one near him at the moment. And in the end, uh, it's behind for a goal kick. Far be it for me to suggest that they should play a little bit more direct, but perhaps considering the conditions, when they get up to the edge of the area, they should try and have one or two more shots. It's not great conditions for the goalkeeper, as we've already seen. It's a good strong tackle there from Varela. He might be struggling with the conditions though. Marcus Galente heard you. Here is uh, Odegaard cutting inside. Thinking a great ball into the far post, looking for Borki, and that. Was a chance. I was just saying, maybe we need to get the ball to Odegaard a little bit more because things do seem to happen when he gets on the ball. I'm trying to get them, bring them into play. The two wingers, not really wingers, but the two wide players. I think it's very important for Castier if they're going to get the breakthrough today. There's a good chance for Odegaard to get across in now. He's uh, taken out, but it is a corner for Real Madrid Castillo right at the start. We haven't seen too many balls played into the box. Well, he did have that great chance in the first half, didn't he, when he was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And as he tried to lift it over Bernardo, got his foot under it too much and it sailed over the crossbar. It's one of the best chances Castillo have had, if not the best chance. Quick feet from Odegaard there, feeding Agutha his Burgi. Burgi! A finished top of your division if you uh, want to try and make it out of the Segunda B because the uh, playoffs are very, very tough to get back into the Segunda and finishing top is a huge advantage. Lovely skill from Odegaard, looking for Mariano. The flag's gone up, though. Flag has gone up. Cavalondo battling with Agutha. De Tomas unable to get on it. His Odegaard fouled uh, pretty cynically. Well, it was a professional foul, and Odegaard quite rightly really annoyed there. 